Good morning to you. Rained again last night, middle of the night. Uh, supposed to clear up, got raging water coming out of the creek, feeding into the river itself. You can see how still this water is. They're not flowing much water at the river at all. But the creek flowing in, uh, the river looks like uh, chocolate milk. I have no idea how we're going to do today. I'm hoping for the best. I'm not at work. Let's get on the water. You can see. It's incoming creek. I wanted to go down that way, and I still may. But it may be a few hours. We'll head back up. Soak a few baits. Matter of fact, this right here is like a rolling line of water. Might throw out right over in there in that eddy to start off today. Do not know how today is going to go. The further I go upstream, the, uh, the less muddy it is. Which makes sense. They didn't really release a whole lot of water last night, but it did rain good. A good shower at least at my house uh, it's 45 minute drive from from home to put in here so I can't tell you what they've got but we got a good bit uh, to be honest with you if I can't get where I'm want to get today to catfish I did bring an extra rod there are several little holes up against this dam in between rocks boulders i can bounce a crawdad use a hula popper uh sun pops out and they get underneath those rocks i can use something hopefully to bring them out uh sun pops out and i do see a deep hole i'll bounce that crawdad across the bottom uh, to be honest i can catch large mouth pretty much anywhere i go but this river holds small mouth so I really want a good sized blue cat today, but I'd really like a just overall a good day fishing. But then again, who doesn't? Uh, so we're going to try one form out. If it doesn't work and I have time, don't get any calls, have anything pop up, uh, then I'll concentrate on the smallmouth bass in the middle of the day, which I tend to do better. Uh, smallmouth bass in the heat of the day rather than in the cool. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, probably another three-eighths of a mile, but, uh, hopefully next time I cut on this camera, I'll at least be set up whether or not I have a fish or not. Well, I am tied off to the first spot I want to fish. I've got a few night crawlers. I've got some chicken breast. And what else do I have? Oh, I got some uh, two or three uh, good size brim I'm gonna use as a uh, cut bait. Using Carolina rig. Water's flowing pretty good right now on this one. I do have you. It. It's uh, a four ounce. It is maybe 7.30 in the morning. Maybe 7.30 in the morning. And I am soaking wet from paddling in. I think today's high is 92, 93. It has rained off and on here and there for the better part of what seems like two weeks. It's probably been only nine or 10 days, but that's enough for me. I'll chunk this out on the back side or on the far side. Let that bad boy sit right there. Get everything lined up. Hopefully I'll talk to y'all when I got a fish on. First catfish of the day, I believe. Man. And this one's on uh, chicken breast. Good gracious. Now this is fun. I waited for this. The entire month of June, I waited for this. I mean, July. It's almost August right now. Last week of July. 
and it just rained, rained, rained. And then when it got through raining, it said, no, nope, you thought I was through, but I'm not. Look there. Yep, a flathead. People say that you've got to use a uh, live bait for flathead. Uh, it, is, oh, it is preferred. But this right here was cut on a piece caught. Look at there. Come here, buddy. Ah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm enjoying that today now. First catfish of the day. Flathead. Corner of the mouth like a circle hook should catch. I don't know what he weighs. Don't care. Beautiful fish. Oh man, bit just like you're supposed to, went down like you're supposed to, and had fun. Well, almost did. Almost had fun. I did, you didn't. This right here will be some prime catfish. Uh -oh or flathead belly filet on the grill. Side filet and belly filet. Yes, sir. Put him in the back. There he goes again. Oh, yeah. He hammered it, hammered it, y'all. Is he swimming to me or did I lose him? Oh no, he's swimming to me. Let me get this over. What we got here, boys? Oh, I know what we got here. We got a, oh, we got a, we got a mix up on line, on aisle three with my other line. Boy, you talking about it. Mm. It's all good, though. I know what. Yeah. I know. You hung up in my line, my other line. Come on. Mm. Woo, you talking about a fiasco. About to pop my line because it keeps rolling. Then I got to get the net involved, which means more tangling. <sighs> All right, let me get this out. Trying to tie on another hook, and then this one hit. I think I still got it. Unless it's swimming to me. Yeah. There, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I'll take you, buddy. <sighs> yep. We'll take blue cats like that all day long been taking applications since early this morning uh, we will accept all applicants uh, maybe not at this date maybe we can make an appointment look at that blue cat I think he's on there no Yep. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. He's on there. Oh, yeah. Feels like a tank. It don't matter what it feels like. Well, it does. 
It, oh, yeah, 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 it does. I'm thinking. Big blue cat. Oh, man. I let him take it good and I roll. There he goes. Well, I don't know what I got. Catfish. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Channel cat. Another channel cat. Awesome catch. Awesome where it was caught. Right in the corner. That beauty. Woo. Oh my God, I don't know what I got myself into on this one. <laughs> now you're swimming in, oh my God. I don't know about this one, boys. This one. This one has ungodly strength. I mean, ungodly. I know that current's playing a big part of it, but I hope I can get this one in. This one, uh, I heard the rod, oh, uh, it's spinning me around. I heard the rod, uh, holder. No, it's just an aggravated blue. But oh my God, did he hit it, y'all. I can get this thing in. Good God am I. Ah, there we go. Woo! I gotta get back and tie off. This one hit out of nowhere on the chicken breast. A white rod in front of me. It's got a brim head on it. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, folks. Another nice blue, but it don't count. Unless I can get him in. I can get this rod out of the way. Landing. There we go. Yep. Get him out. Get this rod, uh, rod rebated with some chicken breast. I haven't done too well at all on a uh, cut bait brim, but fish I've been catching have been all six, eight, maybe ten pounds. So I'm happy with the results I'm getting. Just got out another chicken breast and it got hammered again. Another channel. Every channel. I've caught today. If you're a cat fisherman, you know what I'm talking about. Every channel cat I've caught today has been mad. I mean, just straight up, just mad at the world, just pissed. Get like that after the spawn, I guess. Feeding frenzy, low in weight, I don't know, aggravated. But every one, every channel cat that I've caught today has absolutely, I, I've thought that it was twice the size that it was. And that's the truth. Nobody. 
try to get the net on it. Oh! Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? He come out as I went to dip him up. Are you kidding me? Apparently not, because it just happened. I know it's in the current. I know that. But even with the current, this is the biggest one of the day so far. I know that. I can't tell you what kind of catfish it is. It's not a gar. But uh, whatever the hell it is, it's a man about it. Oh man, what a hoss. Hoss. It's going to take a couple minutes on this one. No doubt. No joke. Oh man, and I got one on tapping on this one. Oh, I got two of them. What do I do now? Okay, well, this one right here is a big one. That one right there I don't know about. This son bitch. Sun gun, sorry. All right, people. We're going to have to put this right here and hope like heck that it don't break my rod. That, that right there is a fish. I mean, all... All right, this one come off. Oh man, oh man. What do we have? What do we have? Whatever it is, strong, and he don't like daylight. Damn, champ. Yeah. Well, I'd say it might be tied with the biggest, but it definitely wasn't the biggest. Ooh. All right, now. Got two sudden bites. I'm going to get some lines back out. It had been a dry spell of about 30 minutes before I even had a bite, or since I had a bite. But, uh, Once again, don't really know nothing about size. Hit it hard, but then they're in current. And this one's swimming to me. Not much size at all. But fun nonetheless. Another blue. Get you out before you fend me. All right. <clears throat> Took a while, but got that one. Oh my goodness, what is this thing here? And what's it hung underneath, around? There it goes. Mm. Whatever it is, it's wrapped around something, but I do believe it's a decent fish. I'm having to pull it from the other side of, New of Newberry County.
it feels big, but then again, in the current, all of it does. I know I need to do something with that because it's going to be in the way. Nearly. I don't think not nearly as big as I'd like it to be, but man, you talking about fun in the current. Nice channel. Well, all right. Well, that's where you want to be. Go. Another nice channel. Put him in the cooler. This one swam all the way up to the boat. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, old blue cat. If I can get him in. <sighs> there we go. Another blue cat. All right. Woo! Just give y'all an update. It's probably 15, 20 after 11. It's 90 couple degrees now. I'm gonna keep on keeping on because uh, I'm not gonna leave if they bite me. But uh, just giving y'all a, a heads up of what the deal is right now. They are, uh, I'm not getting nothing on my cut bait brim hardly. I had very few worms. I brought worms. Uh, needless to say, I knew I had worms, but they didn't last long at all. Beauty of that blue cat. It never gets old, folks. And it's always done. Whew. Almost got this one up. There's another blue cat. Nope. 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 Yep, blue cat. Oh man. This one in the net's probably pushing 20 pound. Maybe I can get this one in by hand without losing a finger. There we go. Well, I've done it before. It'll be done again, exceeding the weight limit on this Pelican Catch Mode 110. I'm telling you right now. I'm not telling you to do it, but I am saying that the weight limit is 375. This bad boy has held 425 all day long. I wouldn't recommend it in, uh, in and heavy flow and before you say well what are you doing well i've got from right here to the other side where i paddle this 
in current. Current. Uh, whew. Once I get on the other side of that current, it is dragging the kayak and paddle it in calm water. I can handle that all day long. But I wanted to get this one out. Get this unmessed. Put this in the back. The old blue cat right there. Uh-uh. No, sir. Well, you can act that way, but I, I promise you, I got it. That blue cat. Ah, yes, sir. Feisty today. To be honest with you, I think that's all either cooler will hold. So, yeah. Let me get this cinched down. I guess I'm about to roll in for the day.